Hello and welcome to Unprofessional Engineering. My name is James. And you got Luke. Luke, we're joined with a special guest uh, for, I guess, our second interview of Autodesk University 2018. With us today, I want to make sure I get the company right, we have Patty Ryan of Gaga... Muller. 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 Ah, so well, I need to well, practice my Irish. Well, there's an Irish way of saying it and then an English way of saying it. We say Mueller. Mueller. Sorry. Gaga Muller. I apologize. Of, <laughs> of the Irelands. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today. No problem, guys. Nice to be here. Awesome. So could you tell us a little bit about what you do uh, with your company? Yeah. Um, I suppose it would all start with Mace. Um, I joined Mace about two years ago okay. on the Facebook data center construction. Um, so since then I've actually stood out and set up a tech startup, so that's what Goggle Muller is. Oh, okay. Um, so we're looking to develop a product and application for, for the industry, but I continue to offer the services to uh, Mace through BIM and digital uh, workflows um, and technology innovation uh, throughout their program with Facebook. Okay, wonderful. So you're kind of a, a one one stop shop for all of those things. Yeah, you could say that. Um, but to be fair, um, we've got a fairly good team in this. Uh, I don't know if you guys got a chance to see the, the presentation. Yeah. Um, but I, I say it to a lot of people. Um, we've got 1500 people on site at, at, at max capacity and not any one person will be able to do what we did. So it's, it's the team that's behind it. We've got a really a team on that job in, in Ireland. That's awesome. So you're here because you guys won one of the AEC Excellence Awards, That's right? True. Would you say it was the best award? Like out of all the course competition? Of course I'm going to say it's That's the best award, guys. <laughs> of course it is. It's definitely the best award. It's the largest construction project we're here to build, aren't we? So yeah, it's definitely... So, so tell us a little bit about the project, uh, where it is, and who it was for. Yeah, so the project was in a place called Clonee, which is just outside uh, Dublin in okay. Ireland. Um, huge project. It was a 90, 298 acre site. Whoa! Um, acre. Yeah, 298 acre site, uh, where we've got three um, phases currently on. So we've just come into the close of the construction of phase three, uh, and we're just about to start the design right across the road on another plus 200 acre site for more data centers. So you guys can upload all your live streams and your pictures of cats and all that, that sort of stuff. That is wonderful. Yeah. I have a lot of cat pictures, yeah, so this is go. very this important is where it's to going. It's going to Ireland, it's going to Clonny outside Dublin. His that's pictures. That's <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad I can send them over to Ireland yeah, so that great. we can upload them. That's beautiful. So I saw, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this is 100% wind energy supported. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Um, I mean, there's, there's a lot of, uh, I suppose, um, there's a lot of heat these days on sustainability, isn't there? And, and, and trying to be more sustainable with ourselves. I was only in San Fran, guys, there this week, and oh, okay. the smoke and the smog there was crazy, oh. wasn't it? So that hasn't reached our side of the pond yet. I know that there was a, a fire over there as well, but it was it was quite bad. We'll blame the wildfire. We'll yeah. blame the wildfire okay. that time, yeah, yeah. So so how do they do this? Do they just have a bunch of old windmills up there somewhere, like um, swinging around? To what? be honest, I'm not quite sure. Uh, to, to be honest, the honest answer, I'm concentrating mainly on the design and construction of it. Um, that's just a stat that came from this. But, okay. Uh, from, from my side, I've, I've no idea really. Any reason why they chose wind over solar by chance? Is it uh, my guess is when I think of uh, Ireland, it's probably cloudy and rainy. Yeah, most it of the is. Time. There's not a lot of sun there, guys. <laughs> but to be fair, it's actually a good question because they, uh, there's a lot of space on that roof for, for solar, solar panels, and we do have solar panels uh, all just aside in Ireland. Okay. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's that probably something that is a design feature maybe in the future. For so, so I have an Ireland question. I've to Go I've been it. told by many people that. Guinness beer tastes different in Ireland than does. anywhere else. Yeah, so does. this is true, coming yes. from someone from yeah, Ireland. it's absolutely fantastic. You have to try it in Dublin. So w why would it be different? It just because it doesn't travel as well, I, I would imagine. Oh, OK. Because um, you've, you've got to import it or, or export it. But yeah, in Dublin, you've got straight from the straight from the taps, really, isn't okay. it? OK, OK. Yeah. If you go to the Guinness Brewery tour, they'll give you the whole there breakdown go, yeah. on all of this oh. stuff. Like, so make your way over there. I'll yeah. have to do that sometime. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I can maybe get you in there for a discounted price. <laughs> oh, man, we got the hookup <laughs> we'll now. We'll see what we can do. This you can bring beautiful. your cats. <laughs> that's <a> <laughs> wonderful. So we saw this number, um, and I think you had mentioned it maybe, there were 1,500 people contributing at one time, is that, is that right? Yeah, that was probably at max capacity. Um, so we've got a lot of uh, companies on the job, there's a lot of coordination uh, involved in it. Um, and yeah, I mean, total, like we're doing the program, so we've got a couple of other jobs, we've got a job in Denmark as well. Okay. Um, so in total, in terms of upskilling these guys and almost bringing them to the uh, to the level that we need them to operate on to, to do what we do. Uh, I think we've trained over 3,000 staff uh, today wow. uh, in-house. Is, is training one of the biggest issues you yeah. have with this uh, kind of project? 
Do you know what? Yeah, it, it kind of is. Um, there, there's a lot of hard work involved in it. I, I see a lot of... Um, we spend a lot of time in, in the BIM model and getting the coordinate and getting in the right place, so we have to be mindful that what happens out on site is, is captured, um, and we have to make sure that the guys on site are uh, up to speed with what we're doing. I saw you were doing a lot of cloud-based uh, software as well. Were you Were you having trouble getting everyone on board with that? I know there's a lot of yeah. issues with some companies and the cloud. Um, do you know what? Not not as much. I suppose our client is Facebook at the end of the day. So yeah, this is um, true. That's a they, good point. Yeah, they they. To be honest, I must say that one thing is, Facebook have been very good okay. because as a client, they've almost let us do what we wanted to do and they've kind of guided us along the way. Uh, you don't get that with a lot of clients. So we've been allowed to maybe spend a little bit more money than most okay. pro projects can, but we've made it back in leaps and bounds in terms of efficiency and productivity. Right. Yeah. I want to. Speaking of efficiency. Uh, I was reading something else about this, or maybe I heard it on stage today, but with your Revit models, the management of them, I think it was said drop from like 440 minutes per week to 10. Yeah, that seems it, ridiculous. You know what, and it's 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 not just Revit either. I mean, it's um, it's a realm of things. I mean, there's uh, we started using BIM360 Design. I don't know if you guys are familiar with mm -hmm. it. Um, mm -hmm. Of course you are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, and we've also started, uh, up, well, we've always used uh, BIM360 Glue. And I suppose that, that number and that term came from how we used to previously federate models and, and coordinate. And when we first started, um, it would take, you'd be coordinating in a model that was already probably three or four days old. Yeah. Uh, and it wasn't really live and interactive. Whereas in, in the platform within Glue and within BIM360 Design, you've got literally immediate uh, access to the latest uh, design. You have to be kind of careful with that as well because when there's changes happening during sure. the, the coordination phase and prior to before you get your approval drawings out on site, um, you got to make sure that the changes in the model aren't happening after your drawings are approved, for example. So there's so, so speaking of access to the model, uh, so VR ended up being a, yes. a, a pretty big part of this project, is that right? Um, it could it could have been bigger to be honest. Okay. Yeah, uh, but we, yeah we do use VR. Uh, we currently use it for one step of the process. So what we found a lot was we would waste a lot of time cutting sheets from Revit, get putting them through the approval process, only for to come back with negative comments and status B and Cs. Um, so we decided we'd try and utilize VR. So before we even cut any sheets and issue them through the approval process, we would bring the client into the room and go, look, this is what this room is going to look like. Mm -hmm. And they loved it because they got to really see firsthand in, 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 in virtual reality environment, things like access and maintenance, things they probably wouldn't necessarily see on, on a drawing. Gotcha. So you said you could have used it more. Do you think in the future you will use it more? Or do you think maybe because it was Facebook, that's a little bit different? Like um, other clients maybe wouldn't be as into it or as necessary? Do you know what, I, I, I'll be very honest, I used to think VR was a bit of a gimmick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I think a lot of people might think of, that yeah, sometimes. That too, so. But if you use it in, 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 in areas where you can actually, I, I always go back to it, it always goes back to the people and the logic. You, software and, and, and um, the, these, these new digital tools that we're using, they're exactly that, they're just tools uh, and you can't change the logic. So if you use VR for something that doesn't change the logic or the process, then it's definitely worth doing. So we use it for uh, drawing approvals, essentially. But you could use it for a lot of other stuff, like planning permission and things like that prior right. to it, it, maybe more in the design phase. I saw it on stage today and it was just really cool saying like, oh yeah, here's what the space is, like, like it's nothing right now, but yeah. then this is what it's going to look like. That would be a game changer. So considering the size uh, of this job, uh, there was also a lot of drone work that was done yes. and scanning, is that yeah. right? Yeah. Could, could you talk about that for a second? Another thing that I thought was a gimmick, but yeah. apparently no, people man, use them. I always thought drones, drones are just something that YouTubers do whenever they're jumping off of waterfalls, <laughs> right? right? Isn't, isn't that what drones no, are it, for? No? no, I'm telling you, like, I, again, uh, we've just, so previously we had drones, um, it was a third party company that would come in and fly the drone every couple of weeks and it was like a progress image. Uh, but we saw, why, why don't we do this every day? So we actually trained five of our staff in-house, including myself, who got drone licenses. That had to be kind of fun. It was good, yeah, it was pretty How cool. many did you crash? I'm not, none yet. Don't Touch lie. Wood. These things are worth a lot of money, so. Oh, I'm aware, <laughs> that's why I'm wondering. Did anyone crash them? Not, not yet, not yet. Wow. Yeah, not, not See, yet. See, I have a little toy one, and I mean, I like started it up, tried Into to move wall. forward, bam. <laughs> Into yeah, the wall. Broke the wing off of it, and now it's done. Now these things are quite clever. I mean, they're, you'd be, you want to be a really bad pilot to crash one of these things. They have, they have obstacle avoidance and all sorts of stuff. That felt like a challenge, and yeah. I think I could take it. 
All right, so I guess we only uh, have one more question here, and cool. this is kind of what we're ending with everyone on. And what's uh, what are you looking forward to at Autodesk University now that your big uh, awards and interviews it's are now over? Right. All the pressure's off now. Uh, what are you, you going to do? Now that you AU? talk to us, and I'm not going to say the the, the drink in the nightlife. I'm <laughs> that stereotypical. You're allowed means, to so, say that. Yeah. You're allowed. <laughs> That's okay. Um, to be honest, I really want to to go and see what, what we can do with Dynamo. I don't think we've, uh, okay. I don't think I know enough about it and I think that's probably the next step for us. Uh, also, we do a lot of data collection on our on our job. So we, we, we built our own websites. We pull data from field, from our CDEs and areas like that. I'd like to see how we can make that, I suppose, nicer and better and smoother. Uh, a lot of it's very heavy lifting for, for us at the minute, specialized people on the job where we, we built our own website, but it's all quite, I would call it amateur. Yeah, like the guys yeah. on site think it's great because they yeah. have access to immediate data. That's but what matters. Yeah, I, I think definitely what what else I can do with data and also Dynamo. Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for joining us today. No problem, I guys. Think, thanks for having uh, me. It was really interesting. Yeah, and congratulations on the award. No problem. Thanks, guys. Thanks. All right. Thanks Bye a lot. now.